Welcome, everyone. We're starting 2021 by launching the most powerful PC processors ever built for ultra-thin and gaming notebooks. Today, I'm proud to introduce the AMD Ryzen 5000 series mobile processors powered by our new Zen 3 core. These new chips offer both tremendous performance and long battery life. You can expect to do more, to be more productive, and to have more immersive gaming experiences with a notebook powered by our new Ryzen mobile processors. With up to eight of our new Zen 3 cores, the AMD Ryzen 5000 series are the best processors in the world for thin and light notebooks. It's a very special product, the fastest x86 processor in the world for thin and light notebooks. Now, the performance is really great, but in the notebook form factor, battery life is also extremely important. And this is where the energy efficiency of the Zen 3 core truly shines. And with the Ryzen 5000 series, you can expect up to 17 and a half hours of general use and 21 hours of video playback on a single charge. Now that's a major jump compared to our previous generation and true all day battery life. Our new HX series mobile processors raise the bar for gaming notebooks. They feature the same Zen 3 cores from our best-in-class Ryzen 5000 desktop processors that deliver leadership frame rates. They're also unlocked for overclocking and have higher thermal ratings for sustained performance. Now let me introduce you to our top-of-the-line Ryzen 9 HX processors. The 5900HX boosts up to 4.6 GHz, while the 5980HX boosts up to 4.8 GHz, both with eight cores and thermal design power of 45 watts or higher. Now turning to some benchmarks versus a competition, whether you're talking about single-threaded performance or overall CPU performance, the HX series wins by a wide margin. And you won't have to wait long to get your hands on these new systems with the first notebooks expected to be on sale from the world's top notebook providers in February. Now the underlying graphics architecture for all these new PC and console products is AMD RDNA 2. With RDNA 2, we really exceeded our goals. We talked about the importance of gaming notebooks a bit earlier, and we'll be bringing RDNA 2 to gaming notebooks next. We're on track to launch the first notebooks with RDNA 2 in the first half of the year with our partners. And you'll also see new mainstream RDNA 2 desktop graphic card designs in the first half of the year as well. Now let's turn our attention to one of the most important areas of high performance computing the data center, cloud, and supercomputing. Today, we wanted to give you the world's first preview of the upcoming processors codenamed Milan, running WRF, one of the most popular tools used for climate research and weather forecasting. Let's take a look at the competitive performance of our upcoming Milan processors running a simulation. The system on the right features two of our next generation 32 core Milan processors, and the system on the left features two of the highest end dual socket processors from our competition. The third gen Epic server completed the forecast 68% faster than the competition. Now just imagine how much more performance you're gonna see with two 64 core Milan processors. We're extremely excited about bringing third gen Epic to market and can't wait to show you more when we launch later this quarter. Now it's been so much fun today, but it's time to wrap this up. AMD and our partners will continue to push the envelope on high performance computing in 2021 and the years ahead. Thank you for joining me today and have a fantastic digital CES experience.